everyone, it's Emily and today I filmed a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right here. It's a very glam matte look and I used some fun expensive makeup that I've never used before. I'm currently on vacation at my aunt and uncle's house in Little Rock, Arkansas and my aunt is a huge makeup junkie and she let me use some of her products that I don't have. So to get the eye look that I'm wearing right now, I use this Visar palette which is so expensive. I'm pretty sure this is like $80. And um, personally, I cannot justify buying this. So it was pretty cool that she let me use her stuff. And I thought I'd just play with some color, do something glam, something fun. I'm literally going nowhere today. So I'm wearing a ton of makeup for essentially no reason other than this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on a single video because I am posting as much as I can uh, I would love to get your feedback as well so go ahead and click down in the comments to uh, let me know what you think of the video and then also I just want to let you know that I have been really really good about putting all the product descriptions everything I've used in the video down in the description bar below so make sure you expand that if you have any questions um, because hopefully I have already answered your question down there so I hope you're having a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. See you later. Bye. To begin, I am priming my eyelids using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Medium. And I'm just dotting this on the lids and then using my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush just to blend this in all over the lid from lash line to brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with this Visart 01 Neutral Matte Palette and dipping into this light pinky peach shade, which is close to my skin color. And I am just setting my concealer uh, that I did in the previous step. This will just give me a nice smooth base so my eyeshadows will blend smoothly over top. Now I'm going into this taupe colored shadow and using my Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush and starting in the outer corner of the lid and then just buffing all the way to the inner corner using windshield wiper motions mainly but then later as I build up more color I go in a little bit more vigorously with um, circular motions as well and I take my time here building up the color I want it to be a really nice smooth transition. Now I am switching palettes and using the Visart 04 Dark Mattes palette and using my Zoeva 221 petite eye blender brush I chose this brush because it is really really dense and I thought that it would pack on the most color but honestly in hindsight I think it would have been better if I used a flat shader brush because it took me a really long time to build up the color however even so you can see how difficult it is for me to get a nice smooth even coverage uh, with this shadow it is patchy and uh, it was difficult to work with. I know purples and deep colors are kind of challenging, but I was having a particularly hard time with this. So I was kind of like, kind of bummed because I had really high expectations. So anyway, I just stay here for a while and then I go in with my original blending brush and I just smooth out the edges. Now I am dipping into this purple shade next to the deeper purple, which I already used. And I am diffusing the color using a Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I'm focusing mainly on the outer portion of my eye and then I'm sweeping into the inner corner as well I want this look to be very swoopy and rounded no harsh lines very very soft and blown out now with a makeup wipe I am just sweeping underneath my eyes and picking up any of the fallout that I might have had and I'm also using this to create a nice clean line on the outsides of my eyes Now I'm using my NYC Matte Black Liquid Liner. I rubbed all the labels off so it has no words on it or anything, um, but trust me, that's what it is. And I am using this to create a pretty dramatic and sharp wing. To do this, I started with the outside corner first, drawing a line up from the lower lash line towards the tail of my brow bone. And then once I have that line as a guide, I work on building up the outside corner of the wing and then also creating that line really, really, really close to the lashes. I want to create the effect that my lashes are nice and full and thick, uh, which they kind of are naturally. I'm pretty lucky with that, but uh, still, the closer you get the line to the lashes and the more you can wiggle it in there, the more full your lashes will look. And I am just extending this all the way to the inner corner of my eyes. 
Now on to the other side. I had a little bit more of a struggle with this side and I ended up making the side a tiny bit thicker than the previous side that I've already done. So I had to go back and just make them match a little bit better, but it's no problem. It's just makeup. Now I'm going to be using the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder Pore Vanishing Stick to prime and prep my face. I'm putting this over the places where I have the largest pores or where you can see them the most, which is mainly over my nose, my T-zone, and my chin as well. I'm putting this on with the stick first and then using my fingers just to blend it all out and press it into the skin. I personally find that this is an awesome primer. I was really impressed with it and it didn't slick off with my oily skin, which was really nice. For foundation, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Fresco or 2C3 and using my Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush to pat this onto the skin. You've probably seen in other videos where I'm sweeping it more using more brush strokes, but in this video I'm looking for a little bit more full coverage. My skin was just kind of sallow that day, so I wanted a little bit more coverage. So in order to do that, I dotted the foundation on first with my finger and then I pressed it in with the brush to keep it in place so I wasn't moving it around and shearing it out at all. I was just keeping that coverage where I wanted it. For a little highlight and concealer in one, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush on BB Glow, and mine is in the shade 01 Light. I'm first of all just putting this underneath my eyes in that triangle shape. I'm also making sure to bring it up into the inner corner, which a lot of people forget about, but it's so important because that always gets dark. And then I'm using my Zoeva 110 Face Shape Brush to blend that all out. I am using sweeping motions and patting motions just to get the exact coverage that I want. And of course, the same thing on the other side. And then for a little bit more precision, I'm using my Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush just to get into those little nooks and crannies and make sure I don't go over my wing. To set my under eyes, I am, of course, going in with my Be A Bombshell Cosmetic Smooth Criminal Powder and my Zoeva 105 Luxe Highlight Brush, and I am pressing that into the skin. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my NYX HD Studio Phonogenic Finishing Powder and my Zoeva 106 Powder Brush, and I am buffing this all over, making sure that I blend everything vigorously, I guess is a good word for that. Um, the last time I did this, I didn't blend as well as I thought and I got little white reflections when I took pictures. So keep that in mind, you wanna make sure you blend. To contour, I am of course going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and using the color Subconscious. And first I am using my Zoeva 127 Lux Sheer Cheek Brush. Very lightly, I'm going over all the natural contours of my face, so under the jaw, the cheekbone, and around the temples of the forehead with this brush. And then what you'll see is I'm gonna go in with another brush to make it even sharper and more precise. Now I'm using my Zoeva 109 Lux Face Paint Brush and dipping back into that original contour shade. And I am creating some more harsh lines, so right underneath my cheekbone, as well as along the sides of my nose to contour that and underneath. And then also I'm going to run this underneath my lower lip. And then I'm just gonna leave it. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> that wasn't even funny, Never mind. Okay, so now I am going back with my Lux Sheer Cheek Brush that I used originally, and then blending that out. This just gives me a little bit more definition, and is also, at the same time, adding a little bit of color and more structure to my face as well. Now I'm going into this highlight shade, which is Levitation, and again, using my 105 Lux Highlight Brush from Zoeva, and I'm cleaning up the edges of my contour underneath my cheek, and then I'm going along the bridge of my nose, the top of the cupid's bow, the center of the forehead, 
And then also under the eyes as well, but I'm making sure I don't cover up the Smooth Criminal Powder because if I do that, then I get mascara splotches and I can't stand that. For the brows, I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in the color Brunette. And I'm first brushing up my brows and then I'm using the pencil side to fill them in using light feathery strokes, this uh, phrase that I've coined because I use it all the time. Um, and you can see here, I'm just following the natural shape of the brow. I'm filling out the top outer edge of the brow, giving that a little bit more volume. And then I'm also just defining underneath as well, drawing a straight line and then flicking upwards from there. And then of course, making sure to go back through and blend it out using the spoolie on the other end pretty frequently. All right, now for the lower lash line, I'm going back into this deep plummy purple color and using my 230 Luxe pencil brush from Zoeva, and I'm focusing on the outer corners. I want to give my eyes a really doughy effect, so by just putting the shadow on the outer corner and focusing on pulling that down a tiny bit and leaving the waterline blank, it's going to pull your eyes outwards. You can see it looks like I've kind of transformed the shape of my eyes and then I'm going in with that other transition purple shade that we did on the top lid as well and I'm just making sure to blend that in perfectly. So it's nice and blended. <laughs> For mascara, I'm using my trusty Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. This is a travel size because I have about a million of them. I love this mascara for volume. I think that it is really awesome, like all-in-one mascara because it gives you some length as well and it keeps your lashes looking fluttery, not clumpy or stiff. And then I'm going into the lower lashes as well, first using the tip of the wand just to coat the lashes, and then I go back through combing them to make sure they're not clumpy. For blush, I'm using the color Pomegranate from Sleek, which is a shimmery, purpley toned blush. It's so beautiful. And using my Zoeva 101 Luxe Face Definer to pop this color on my cheeks. I forgot to show the product here, but I'm lining my lips using my NYX Nude Lip Liner. It's retractable, which I really like. I'm first just starting on the outer corners, plumping those up a little bit. You can see how my lips sort of swoop down, and I like to fill them out. And then just following my Cupid's bow and the natural lip line on the bottom of my lips. And then for my lip color, I'm using my Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade 650 Nude Embrace, and I am just smoothing this all over like a normal lipstick. I cannot believe I have not talked about these yet because these are one of my favorite lipsticks of all time, especially from the drugstore. And then, of course, I'm going to set my face using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed.